Hey guys, Trina here, back with a tutorial. Today we're going to be working on an abstract watercolor landscape. Here I'm wetting the paper. We're going to be using some burnt umber, okra, ultramarine blue, a little bit of Payne's gray that I mixed up, some cerulean, and black. These are all tube watercolors. Here I am taking an old driver's license that I had to use as a to put the paint on, and this is going to be my primary way of painting. I'm not going to use a lot of brush work today. So you can see I'm just putting this in pretty thick and then we're going to add some water to it here in just a second. I like this is the first time I've done this and I got this idea from the lovely Miss Karen Rice who does some amazing tutorials and I'll link to that below. Here I'm taking in my big flat brush with some clean water and I'm just going to add in a little bit of water to begin. You can see how the paint is kind of spreading out and mixing on the canvas, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna add a bit more color in here. And make it pretty thick, because I want it to be pretty thick. And I'm gonna take this Mr. Bottle that I just bought, which I'll link below too because it's fabulous. I love it, it's a game changer. Instead of just spraying like a regular spray bottle, it sprays like this really fine mist that really is perfect for watercolors. And I'll link that below. Um, this got a little too dark for me, so I'm going to take my brush, dry it off a little bit, add it to get rid of some of that dark color there. And then I'm just going to move the canvas around and let the paint do what the paint's going to do. Here I am mixing in just a little bit more of that blue color. Adding in more of that cerulean blue and you can see how wonderful those colors are just flowing over the canvas, or the paper, sorry. And I really, 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 really like this effect. Um, that mister is a game changer for sure. So now I'm going to, like I said, take my brush and take up some of that color to get rid of some of that stain up there at the top because it got a little too gray on me. Back in with the driver's license and the plastic and just taking in some of that burnt umber and making some marks. The other thing about this driver's license slash credit card is that you can really make some cool marks like you can bring the paint down you can see how i'm pulling the paint that's a little wet and making these really wonderful marks that really give some dynamic range to it it also works really well in these washes down here and get some really cool effects um just playing mark making making the landscape just a little bit more dynamic um with line and mark making Taking away is as important as adding, and that is a hard thing to do in watercolors, and it's one of the things I've kind of been trying to learn how to do. Um, here I have the ultramarine blue. I'm gonna add that in, get my spray bottle, and once again spray, and that is looking really cool. Like, I love how that flows. It's just so cool. How soft it makes it, um, and that's really, a lot of the mister is really, doing that because it's such a fine mist that it just adds without making big droplets, which is very important. Um, so now I'm just going back in with my scraper and we're scraping out, removing and sliding some of this paint around. And I'm probably going to stop here for a minute and go and blow this dry before I continue that after I take some of this paint away with another brush. This technique is really interesting to me and I've been wanting to try it for a while and I'm really liking the effects of it. So I think I'm going to be doing more of this type of work. It kind of feeds my abstract soul and I love um, how intuitive it is and how you just never know what you're gonna get. And I love painting that way. It's always a surprise, it's always fun. Um, and it really 
feels like I'm letting the work tell me what to do. Going back in with a little of the yellow okra and some darker burnt umber. I don't really use a lot of black, so we're not going to... Black is scary to me. I don't really like it, especially in watercolor. Um, here I'm using some Naples yellow, which I didn't list earlier, to just give some highlights and add some interest. This is a, another really cool watercolor. This is by Grumbucker, I believe. And I will list um, all of the supplies I use below and feel free to go look at them. Here I'm adding in a bit of Payne's Gray that's a little thicker. This I made from um, Ultramarine Blue, a Crimson Red, and a bit of the Yellow Okra. And that just gives you a really nice Payne's Gray that's so versatile and fun to use. Add just a little bit more of the cerulean blue. I'm just doing a little detail work now, just sort of adding in texture and adding in more lines. Loving this paint's gray with these okras and greens that have been created by mixing the paint together. Um, I really like starting with these five colors and just allowing them to mix on the palette and then going over top of them to create more layers and more depth. I think the colors that we get are really unique and fun and not colors that you could probably mix. Well, you could probably mix them, but it's just fun to see how they mix themselves. So I'm going back in with some burnt umber and getting some pretty cool marks with this plastic um, credit card, well, driver's license. So that's what you can use your old driver's license for. You can use them to paint, which is kind of cool. Um, so I did a pretty good job preserving the white space on this one. Now I'm going back in with my graphy tints. These are by Derwent, and I will leave those below. And we are using today the cool gray. This is the port that I'm using here. And I'm also going to use the cocoa from the graphy tint, the 12 set. Just making more marks so that when you get up close, it's more dynamic and it's, uh, I love line work. I love adding lines to me it just creates interest and makes the activates the canvas just a little bit more so it's more dynamic and adds energy and flow now we tried this with a adding the paints gray with a skewer and eh, it didn't work so well i mean i kind of liked it but it just sort of it got gloppy on me and I didn't really like it, but luckily with watercolor, you can just take it away. Some spots I really liked it and you'll see here in a second, I'm just going to get rid of most of it because uh, it wasn't my favorite. But um, I do like the effect that it had when I scrubbed it away and it kind of made this smooshy mark that was uh, a little different. So that's it for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.